Welcome to the DCEU Extravaganza Special, where I talk to you about all the news coming out in the world of Warner Brothers slash DC Films. <laughs> this just in, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. If you've been living under a rock, you may not know that James Gunn is now a co-CEO of DC Studios. He and Peter Safran are gonna Michael Scott Jim Helpert this thing and join up to save what is left of DCEU. A cinematic universe that's kind of been a disaster since day one. This all started with Zack Snyder in Man of Steel, followed by Batman v Superman. Later we would get the Snyder cut of the Justice League. He also had a hand in Wonder Woman, possibly Suicide Squad, a version that's on the cutting room floor by David Ayer. Who knows anymore? It's all, it's all very vague, it's all very confusing and it's all a complete shit show. The DC film started very dark and brooding with Snyder's vision, but over time the tone changed, it got more poppy, more colorful, and everything was just kind of thrown at the wall and hoping something would stick. Nothing really did though. So now they turn to the gun, as in the James Gunn, the guy behind Guardians of the Galaxy, Slither, Super, the Scooby-Doo films, just the writing. He's done a lot of stuff, he also did the quasi-sequel slash soft reboot of The Suicide Squad, naturally titled Suicide Squad. All right, let's get to the meat of it. Within the last 48 hours, we've had a comedy of tweets sent out by both actors and now by James Gunn and by Variety and all these other outlets, including a whole slew of TikTok and YouTube short journalists who can't wait to aggressively engage with you by yelling into their $20 earbuds like this. Why are you doing this? It makes no difference. Just put it down, you idiot. The big thing being reported is James Gunn's burning this thing to the ground and starting from scratch. Now, what does that mean? You might be thinking, wait, what about Black Adam? It just came out, it made money, right? Dwayne Johnson said it, it killed. Dwayne Johnson said he's the new face of this thing. Superman's below him. Like, what happened to the power dynamic shift? Uh, it turns out that Black Adam maybe didn't make money or barely squeaked enough money out because it cost a shit ton to make plus marketing and, and Dwayne Johnson tweeted out, he's like, no, 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 I talked to the accountants. I was like, hey, what's going on here, dude? We make money or not? And they said we made 50 million. Okay, I mean, c cool. I don't know. I don't believe anything anymore. We also had Gal Gadot on Twitter who, who constantly puts her beautiful feet in her mouth, it seems, on social media. Uh, imagine. She tweeted out not even 24 hours before this new news that she was very excited to show us where Wonder Woman would go next. Well, it turns out she's going in the trash can because Wonder Woman 3 was canceled. This is all supposed. This is all hearsay, I believe. Some of it's reported on by actual publications, but it's hard to tell anymore. And even then, those publications seem to just be kind of like listening to third party random strangers. Like, oh, that homeless guy over there said that Aquaman 2 is probably the last time Jason Momoa is gonna be the, the, the hero. Who knows? I guess they were gonna allow Patty Jenkins to continue with Wonder Woman, even though Wonder Woman 1984 was a complete shit show. And she submitted a script and they're like, yeah, no, this is horrible. At which point she fired back and ended the conversation with a wiki link to the description of a character arc. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. They could have also sent her back a link to um, how to make a good movie. The cat's also out of the bag on the cameo by Superman at the end of Black Adam. It's been enough time. People had it ruined right away anyways. Who cares? Superman keeps cameoing, whether it's his crotch in Shazam or a full body green screen at the end of Black Adam, and he's just never coming back. Henry Cavill's an ongoing joke at this point, whether or not he's ever gonna play the character again. Man of Steel 2 on the chopping block. It sounds like. It's also been reported that Michael Keaton was supposed to reprise his role as the Dark Knight in a fully fledged Batman Beyond film. But since Batgirl was canceled that also featured him and he's probably cut out of the Flash movie that may come out at some point in time, it looks like they canceled all of his Batman stuff altogether. I'm guessing Ezra Miller's done as Flash and I don't give two shits because he sucked as Flash and he kind of sucks as an actor and probably as a person from what I can gather. Aquaman, Jason Momoa, probably gonna come back as Lobo is what they're saying. That's a character, I guess, I don't care. Make good movies! Here's a crazy thought. How about just make standalone films that are good? Like Joker, like The Batman, just keep doing that. And eventually you can have these guys meet up in this shared universe. Just make standalone films 
and then surprise the audience later after you've already made a new Superman movie and a new Wonder Woman movie and a new Flash movie. I have the utmost confidence in James Gunn when it comes to this because he hasn't steered me wrong yet with the film. I think he makes good decisions. And he actually took to Twitter himself and responded to some of these things by saying, listen, yeah, some of this is true. Some of it's just uh, guessing, speculation. And a lot of it, we're not sure yet. And that's really the big takeaway for all this news coming out is they don't know what the hell they're doing. This is gonna take time to map out because they don't wanna just make movies. They wanna tie it into TV shows. They wanna tie it into their different streaming platforms and services and offerings and whatever. It's gotta be a shared big universe. But I say nigh. I say make good films don't worry about all the other crap. You don't have to play catch up with the MCU anymore. The Marvel's burying themselves with mediocrity by doing too much, too fast, too poorly. And that's kind of the most ironic thing about this. Warner Brothers actually is making some really great superhero stuff. It's just not part of their so-called DCEU, their universe. They're making the standalones that are fantastic and people are going out to see and loving. Just keep doing that. Joker and the Batman, those movies already look like they're kind of connected. They have that great high definition cinematic quality to them. That old school eight millimeter style. Go with that moving forward. Make a Superman in that same vein where it's more grounded and it has a film look. Not this digital garbage that Marvel's shitting out constantly now. Nothing looks real. Nothing feels grounded or plausible. And I understand we're talking about superheroes fighting in different worlds and different dimensions and they're on different planets that aren't Earth. But spoiler, you can still make it look real. A lot of people thought Matt Damon actually filmed The Martian on Mars. That speaks to how good it looked, how realistic it looked, and how fucking dumb people are. But still, it's all about engagement. It's all about bringing people into these worlds and not just showing them a bunch of trash on the screen and we can easily see like, okay, yeah, they had him stand in front of a green screen for half a day and they got it all done. As for some of these actors who put in great work and performances in the past, like Henry Cavill, they could still bring him back in a start from scratch situation. I don't think they're going to. Hopefully he says, yeah, we need to just do good movies by themselves. We don't need to even do, we can do like one little tease maybe at the way end. Like the good old days when Iron Man just had one little cameo by Nick Fury saying like, there's a bigger world out there and that's it. Not like Iron Man 2 where half of the film is dedicated to setting up other stuff. And last thing about this, it's gotta be very tricky for James Gunn because he did do The Suicide Squad, which people say didn't make money, it bombed. It also happened to come out at the peak of COVID and hit theater and HBO Max same day. So most people just watched it on the streaming platform. It's very hard to gauge the success of that. And uh, I'm sure they looked at a myriad of things such as box office pull, plus the amount of new subscriptions they got to HBO Max, watch time on the movie. I, I, there's a lot of variables that go in. And I think Peacemaker was a fantastic season. And I know Peacemaker 2 is scheduled. So who knows if he can step away from that stuff too and say like, okay, I love this. I did a good job on this, but we're moving on. Or if that just stays its own thing, which is fine too. Everything's up in the air. I love watching a variety of movies. Superhero stuff is fine, but it's definitely overstayed its welcome, especially on the Marvel side of things. They oversaturated. They did too much too fast. So hopefully this is eye-opening for both Marvel and DC and they pair back and they say, you know what, let's just release one or two good superhero movies a year instead of four or five and releasing a bunch of crap on streaming services. I think everybody wins then. And then we can have different quality movies that aren't comic book related at all. That's the dream. Variety's the spice of life. I'd love to hear from you in the comments though below. If we take this stuff all at face value, what do you think? Should they start over? Should they continue on and just make some tweaks? Where are you at with the DCEU and the MCU? Love to hear it. Like the video if you had a good time. Please think about subscribing if you haven't. I post movie content every single week, including a really fun thing, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only movie channel that does this right now, where I let Patreons at a certain tier suggest a movie for me to watch. I give them a shout out and I review it. It can be the most like random artsy shit ever, and I still have to put it out, which is why you know, Temple Grandin was the last review. Fantastic movie, but no, nobody's watching that. We're, we're waiting for more Marvel and DC stuff.
<sighs> Kill me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. It's that time of year, the holidays. Maybe you're thinking, Adam, how can I give back? After all the gifts of entertainment you've given over the years. Well, I mentioned Patreon. You could sign up, that would, that would help immensely. Patreon.com slash AdamDoesMovies or become a YouTube Join member right here. You get access to a bunch of perks, including 300 exclusive videos from my second private channel. Only people that are that are Patreons or YouTube Join members get access. You're helping to support this one-man operation, but you're also getting a bunch of gifts in return. So it's just a nice deal all around. Happy holidays.